Welcome back to Cafe Live. I'm Jack Schilling. We actually have two top stories today. Our first top story, if you watched our latest episode of the Idiot Brewery Podcast, you will have known that the core set known as Core Set M20 killed and ate Aiden in our last episode. Now, you might be thinking, how does that affect this episode of Cafe Live? Well, unfortunately, Aiden, desperately needing a body because he does things like a nerd, actually stole my body. So at the moment, I am currently a disembodied voice. I hope to get my body back when he's done with it in approximately a week. Our main top story, however, is that the Indigate Brewery went to Davenport to participate in the OCM NRG Series event at Games Plus One. Now, while we usually come to you with footage from the event, our field reporter, Jack Schilling, discovered that he had mistakenly grabbed the wrong battery. Why our field reporter is still employed after a blunder like that, we will never know. Fortunately, he was able to interview two deck builders with some spicy brews for us to go over today. I'll turn it over to our field reporter. Thanks, Jack. The first deck we'll go over is from a fine player named Zach Ellingson with blue-white taxes. Now, Zach originally played a green-white taxes list, but felt he needed to do more in certain matchups. With that in mind, Zach ran a combination of Lavinia, Azorius Renegade, Spell Queller, and Eldrazi Displacer. With these three on the field, you can continuously exile any spells your opponents try to cast with CMC4 or less. And on top of this, Lavinia can shut off Hogak, as Hogak is cast with zero mana. Zack's main plan with the deck is to grind out a solid Game 1 victory and then sideboard for the deck, with things like Surgical Extraction and Rest in Peace for the massive graveyard meta. Zack also cut his Mirror and Crusaders for a full playset of Giver of Runes, a new card from Modern Horizons that Zack has confirmed as very good. While he does think the deck could use more tuning, he also believes it's a good deck with potential and good positioning in the meta. The next person I got to interview was Jonathan Geiger, not to be confused with the Geiger counter. He brought Jung Goblins to the event, which is an incredibly spicy take on the Malira combo decks of old. How Malira combo usually works is you play a creature with Persist, play Malira or a creature that gives a plus one plus one counter to a creature when it enters the battlefield, and play a Sack Outlet. Sack the Persist creature, comes back with no minus one minus one counter, go infinite, do shenanigans. While this usually means gaining infinite life with Kitchen Finks, Jonathan decided to take it a different route. His Persist creature was Putrid Goblin, Malira was also a metallic mimic naming Goblin, and his sack outlets were Skirk Prospector and Sling Gang Lieutenant. Let's break this down a bit. Persist Goblin with Malira and Metallic Mimic sounds reasonable enough, but Skirk Prospector and Sling Gang act as sack outlets for the deck, with Sling Gang doubling as a win con. Skirk Prospector allows you to get infinite red mana, but for what? Two Fireball and two Banefire, split in case of cards like Meddling Mage trying to disrupt the combo. With all these goblins, it also makes sense to run the Modern Horizons reprint Goblin Matron, which can tutor up two thirds of the combo all on its own. In case you don't have Fireball or Banefire, it can also tutor up Core 19 Rare Dark Dweller Oracle, which, when paired with infinite mana, can exile your entire deck to play that turn, allowing you to snag your Banefire or Fireball. On top of all this, he also ran Throws of Chaos as a way to continue a long game and gain constant value. Jonathan recommends this deck to anyone who wants a fun budget deck from Modern that has turn 3 kill potential. That's all from here, back to the studio. Thanks, Jack. We can only hope that field reporter Jack Schilling will be able to bring the right battery to the next event so we can see the excitement of people sitting at tables slamming down cardboard worth a month of my rent. This is Cafe Live, I'm Jack Schilling.